Hi, welcome to COVID Homeschooling. Today we're going to talk about how to homeschool multiple kids. So if you only have one student, you can skip over this video. Okay, so first you should decide if there are any subjects you can do with your kids together. I have a 12 year old, a nine year old, and almost six year old. So the gaps are kind of big between my kids. But if your kids are closer in age, you could probably have a lot of overlap for school. So each of my kids gets their own math time and some language arts. And then we do all science and social studies and any extras together. And because my number one is kind of lower in language and my number two is higher in language, we just smush it and we, we all do grammar together. I'm mostly teaching at number one's level and then whatever number two and three get is fine because we'll circle back around to that in a few years. And if your kid goes back to school, that works the same way. That's what they do in classrooms. It's called spiraling. So I usually don't make my youngest do school with us until they're you know around six years of age because it's not worth trying to fight the attention span. So if she's interested in doing school, I'll let her, but she's free to come and go as she pleases at this point. So unless you are following the school's plan for the year, like their curriculum, you can have a lot of freedom in smushing school together. And that makes the day a lot easier. You get it done a lot faster. Most people who have multiple kids will work their kids in shifts. In large families, that's working sometimes usually like the oldest to youngest and everyone gets a chance to spend time with mom doing the core subjects. Or if they have like a lot of kids, they'll do the three oldest and then the two middle kids and then the two youngest like that. So here's how our day usually goes. I have my oldest start on his independent work. Right now that's alternating between foreign language practice and spelling worksheets and typing. So while he does that, I start work with my middle kid. We do her math and her spelling, and then we kind of switch. So I send her to go work independently. She does her reading, and I work with my oldest on his math. So this usually takes about an hour, and then we're done with morning school. But some days, my littlest declares that she wants to do school. So then I'll have like number one working independently, number two reading, and then working with number three. And then when she's done, I might send her off to play like ABC Mouse or a game with one of the other kids or read to her or something. And then we'll switch and I'll work with whoever wasn't playing with her. And so we'll get through it that way. Or sometimes we get started and she's like, hey, I'm going to do school too. And so it surprises me. And then I will have her sit on one side and the other kids sit on the other side and I just kind of ping pong my attention back and forth answering their questions. It's a little chaotic so I like to just work with one person at a time. So we get all of our morning work done and then we take a break and then we do our social studies and geography and grammar together and then we take another break. Then we'll do our afternoon stuff. This is a rotation. Sometimes it's science or art or foreign language. And then we're done for the day. So about an hour for morning work, an hour for lunch, school, and then another hour or two in the afternoon. So that's three or four hours of school a day. And then the rest of the day, we have free to do whatever we want. So sometimes we might move the schedule around. Like if we want to go on an activity or a field trip, we have a lot of flexibility there. Um, the nice thing about homeschooling really is the flexibility. You don't have to spend the nights or weekends trying to squeeze in after school activities and dinner and all that. And the kids have a lot of time to spend the day playing, which is so important for development. And so I guess I'll do another video on that later. But that's how the day kind of works. And it's nothing to stress out about. So there you go.